So we have a couple things coming uh, from Lion Guard. Um, this is going to be the first crate in the set of couple crates that we'll be uh, working on now. Um, so the short of this one is they have uh, uh, actionable alert inside Lion Guard for when users lack strong authentication. And how we're going to handle that is we are going to be creating a CA policy or using an existing CA policy and sticking uh, the users that show MFA not uh, not enrolled into that CA policy. So there's a couple pieces to the workflow. So we start out with this form. You choose your client, and then um, I already have some of this stuff going in my environment because I've run this a few times. So um, if we choose an existing policy, it'll be listed here, uh, or you could type in a name of one that you'd like to create, and it'll create one for you, um, similar with the groups. So uh, if you leave it without a group in here, it'll um, add the users to the policy directly. Otherwise, it'll get a group, uh, create a group, and uh, or use an existing group and tie it to that CA policy. Um, once we run this, ultimately what this is going to output is a couple organizational variables. This is the workflow that handles that. Um, in the very first part, if we don't have, if we choose a existing CA policy, it's going to be in the form of a GUID that comes through. So I'm checking to see if the CA policy matches a GUID doing some regex here. Um, if it is a GUID, it's going to go down and um, just input that policy into the org variable. If not, it's going to branch off and create that policy and create the group if needed. So um, that's this sub workflow here. And um, basically, yeah, so if we're not uh, specifying a group, it's just going to go down and go to create policy. If we are specifying group, it's going to look to see if an existing one is there. If not, it's going to create a security group. Um, in this area, we have a little bit of Jinja that's checking to see if it's using groups or not and changing the uh, the, the JSON based on if, there, if, if it does have a group or not, because it does require a little bit of a different uh, sets of information there. And that's pretty much it for the setup part. Um, once that is done, um, we do rely on, like I said, the actionable alerts coming from LineGuard. So it does require a ticket to be uh, created, and it's going to support uh, you know, all the different ticketing platforms that we support. And um, when those alerts come through, basically that's how what triggers this. And we're going to run this, uh, reach out to Microsoft and get the that MFA report, looking at the same values that the current uh, setup from LineGuard looks at which I know that uh, there's some possible changes they're coming to do like the per user MFA and then getting a little bit more better information in the ticket. But right now we reach out to Microsoft and get that list like they do and go through. And uh, if we need to, uh, if we're going to go, go by groups or if we're just doing individual users, um, yeah, we loop through all the users that don't have MFA enabled and add them to the group that is now tied to the CA policy. Otherwise, we just add them directly to the CA policy here. And um, yeah, I mean, that's that is pretty much the workflow.